What's up guys, I'm back and today we're going to be discussing that something that's been featured on my Instagram page for a couple weeks now. It, I wouldn't call it a, a long term review but I got everything out of it that I need to to discuss it. Um, but before we do that, some housekeeping notes. The usual stuff, make sure you follow me on Instagram at MadMaxGuns if you want to support the channel a little more. Patreon.com slash MadMaxGuns. Uh, check out the link in the description below for Big Daddy Unlimited. If you don't know what it is, it's an online superstore behind a paywall so they can sell gun stuff super cheap. First month's uh, 99 cents I believe and it's like 5 and change a month after that. If you buy a bunch of gun stuff on a regular basis, it's worth checking out. If not, it might not be. It's up to you. but. Um, what's 99 cents you can find that on the ground check it out um, got all that out of the way in record speed now we're here to talk about what you probably I would assume have seen based on you clicking on this video unless you just like my face that much which I highly doubt we got a sig cross here chambered in 308 so um, if you've been following me for any amount of time in the past year or two, you will have known that I have transitioned more into the bolt action scene of things, and I really like 308. I wrote a couple articles on it for the MBT blog. Uh, check that out if you haven't already. Um, the whole blog in general full of great information. But I wrote an article about how 308 is still relevant in 2022. It might have been 2021 when I wrote it. I don't remember. Either way, uh, big 308 guy. Uh, I enjoy shooting it, loading it, um, bolt action, gas guns, what, what have you. Um, and this SIG really has piqued my interest for a long time. Uh, really, especially when a uh, buddy of mine from Instagram, Paul, who I bought this from, uh, I don't know if he won it or bought it, whatever, but he hit me up, asked if I knew anybody that wanted it. I said, yeah, me. So, bought it. Um, doesn't really fit in what I do, and I'll get into that momentarily, but it is a very neat rifle. Um, let's knock out some features on it real quick. Um, going front to back, you got this nice skeletonized folding, folding stock here in this chassis. The action's a one piece aluminum, it's like an upper lower combo from an AR stuffed into a bolt action. Um, weapon is clear by the way. Throw that out there. But it's pretty neat. It's it's uh, very original, unique. Nobody else does it. The handguard, which is also unique on here, just bolts right onto that. And I'm just, I have not taken it apart. I don't plan on it. Um, but we'll get there when we get there comes with a nice SIG, like AR style grip. The safety here is ambidextrous, like an AR safety. The trigger is a beautiful two stage, it's like a, like a two pound overall trigger, like a one pound take up to a distinct wall. And a nice crisp break. Um, I'm a big fan of it. However, on bolt guns, I've really moved more towards um, single stage triggers. Nice, light, crisp single stage trigger, but there's a place for that on this rifle, which I'll get to once we're done going over this stuff. It comes with a rail already attached. There's a couple different rail options. They have full length rails for so you can clip on night vision and stuff. Uh, this is the zero MOA rail. There's also a 20 MOA rail. Nice. 60 degree bolt throw, quick, and if you can see here how the bolt kind of comes down and out, it's very um, intuitive, I guess the word would be, but easy to use, natural feeling, but pop that out real quick. In order to take the bolt out, you got to fold the stock, there's a little button here in the top of the action that slides right out. You got uh, three lugs and like an M16 style extractor. Um, overall pretty unique looking bolt, some fluting and stuff in there. But it's a bolt action bolt is really what it comes down to. Um, slide it back in. 
here and there. But yeah, so you got the six degree bolt, real nice. It comes with the five round Magpul AICS mag, but it has a proprietary SIG follower in it. Uh, I believe you can buy those aftermarket and use them in your own AICS mags. And but other AICS mags do work in there, but I'm sure there's a reason they have a proprietary follower. But I don't know what that reason is. But there's like this little lip here, if you can see it. Might help with the feeding or something. But other AICS mags have worked perfectly fine. Um, up on top here, we got a primary arm 6 to 30 Platinum series, the PLX series, um, with a mill dot reticle. It doesn't really fit on this rifle uh, in the how the rifle should be used which again I'll get to in a minute but great scope if you um, think primary arms is strictly a budget scope company think again the platinum series and the gold series are fantastic even the the SLX series the silver series um, for what you're paying you're getting some good stuff but moving forward you got like a nice AR light hand, uh, handguard M-lock all around the barrel here is um it's not a heavy barrel by any means but it's also not like a pencil barrel it's probably like a number six or five profile but it's a nice light barrel and i'll get to why that's good um up front here it comes with a it's just a threaded muzzle with a thread protector that has some nice knurling on the end here if you can see that I have an MDT Elite muzzle brake sitting up here just because, but it also has this little washer here that covers the taper that is there specifically for SIG cans. Um, and now we'll get into that part. This, For this rifle, you probably should be running it with a can. It, it would fit right at home. It's a nice compact, compact package. But this rifle I see is mostly a hunting rifle like a backpack rifle or if you want to get crazy it could be like a truck gun if you think you're gonna to have to pop something at some distance but a lot of people will confuse this for an AR but that's neither here nor there I find this right at home as a nice little hunting rifle the stock here is fully adjustable forgot to talk about that this is spring-loaded so you just put your hand here Head here, find the right height, and then you lock this little handle in place, and you're good. Same thing with this. Adjustable length of pole, which is nice. But let's get back on track. This I see as a hunting rifle. I'm not much of a hunter, not because I don't want to, I just don't do it. Um, never really have. Did some duck hunting, some boar hunting and such. Went deer hunting once, but I don't like freezing my ass off for hours at a time. Uh, did enough of that. But that is why I would say that this optic doesn't fit at home. This should have a nice light hunting scope. Not this big, bulky, um, precision long range scope. But it's what I had, so it's on here. But this this you could this would be right at home hunting in almost any situation, in my eyes. Uh, I I took it out to eleven hundred, believe it or not. Um, I think I I made an impact on my fourth attempt. The wind was kind of nuts. I wish I had video of it, but I don't. Um, the wind was insane. Made three impacts in a row. After I have some video of me actually shooting, but you, you can't hear the impacts because of how big the wind was. Um, I don't have any target f footage, so uh, I guess you're just going to have to take my word for it, but... I'm pretty high. There it is. There it is, there's a hit. It's shaking like a motherfucker. That was a thousand. Eleven hundred. Yeah, with the little one? With the little one. That's another one. Don't matter the size, it's how you use it. Exactly. What? Oh, that's 
There's another swinger. Alright, I'm good with this. Right. You got it, huh? You're gonna write it up. I did make three impacts in a row out to 1100 using Federal 175 Sierra Match Kings, gold medal match, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have shot some Burger 185 jugs through it, and if we're shooting four shot groups, it would be a three quarter minute gun, give or take. But every time I shot a five shot group, there was one flyer. I will get the targets and see if we can see. This is the only target that I had laying around that I could find. Up here is the CR Match King, the Federal factory loadings. Uh, it was right around an inch. Um, but you got two rounds here, two rounds, like three rounds group, nice down here. This would have been a half inch group had it been a four round group. However, there was that flyer. And that was pretty typical of this rifle four shots would be pretty much right in there and then there'd be a flyer uh, i did not try hand loading however the guy that i got it from did hand load for his and he said he got great groups with it a couple other reviews that i watched showed very similar results that i had but the mo almost everybody on the internet with this is shooting a 6.5 creedmoor and they were having with factory ammo the same luck could I tailor load to it? Yes, but it's not something I would tailor load to, if that makes sense. I'm not going to be shooting a match with this. However, this does come with three different chamberings. You got a 308 with the 16 inch barrel and 1 in 10 twist. You got a 6.5 Creedmoor, which probably is going to be the most popular out of them, with an 18 inch barrel and a 1 in 8 twist. And then you have the 277 Fury or. 6.8 by 51 NATO is the new military round. It's what the, the, the new Army Infantry Rifle and uh, squad, like, saw replacement are going to be shooting. And you get crazy velocities with a good BC bullet uh, with crazy pressures out of this kit, hybrid case. If you want to know more about that, go check it out somewhere else. There's a ton of information out on it. It is a new round to the um, space. But it seems... We'll see it's new, so we'll see how if it lasts or if it actually performs well. But um, I have not seen any of that ammo for sale anywhere, so I have not bought in any or even thought about getting a gun chamber in that. Um, another side note of this, it's six and a half pounds roughly without a scope or ammo on it or a muzzle device. The um, this 18 inch barrel 6.5 Creedmoor is a tad bit longer, I mean... Obviously, it's two inches longer, so it's like three tenths of a pound heavier. It's about six and three quarter pounds, and yeah. Um, so that that's the gun, the facts behind it. But my thoughts on it: it's very neat. Uh, if you have a purpose for it, it's probably a good idea. Um, I'm not a hunter, again, so it doesn't fit in my arsenal, if you will. So I'm going to be trading it away to a friend of mine that actually uh, will probably end up using it. But it, it was very neat. I'm glad I bought it. But at the same time, um, it's a shame because it's not really in my wheelhouse. Would I recommend it to somebody that hunts? Uh, I would, yeah. It's, it's a the MSRP street price, whatever you want to call it, when you see in stores, big box stores, is right around that fourteen to $1,600 range. Um, I've only seen 308 and 65 Creedmoor in stores. The I don't know anybody that's shooting 277 Fury yet. If you are, drop a comment down below and tell me what you think about it because that is uh, pretty neat. But overall, it performed really well. Um, the barrel gets hot. It balances well for how small it is and how light it is, but. If you're going to use it for hunting, I would 100% recommend this. Or if you just want a range toy that's nice and light and different than everyone else, you can shoot it standing up. This would be pretty dope if you put like an ACOG or like a low power variable optic on it for hog hunting or whatever. Or even deer hunting. You're not going to be taking that long of a shot where a 1 to 8 or one, a new 1 to 10, 2 to 10, some would fit right at home on this. All in all, I'm definitely a fan of it. It performs well. SIG as a company, uh, not a huge fan on 
I feel like their business practices are a little shady. They put out stuff. It's like they beta test with the actual product and they'll send stuff out when it's not ready yet. And it's like uh, how when you used to buy a video game, it used to come ready. You didn't have to download all this DLC content. It just came out of this box. You put the disc in and you were playing away. There's no download or anything. And you didn't have to wait for the game to progress and wait and download stuff for it to be at its full thing. Um, SIG is like the new video games, Call of Duties, where you buy it and there's like two features and as the months and weeks go on, you download more and more and more and more and then they make you pay for more and more and more and more and you get all the, uh, get all the content. I feel like that's how SIG works now. They put stuff out before it's ready. Um, I haven't personally had any bad experiences with it, but I know all across the internet and like military fielding of the 320 or M17, M18, whatever you want to call it, my 320 worked great from the time I got it, but I had there are nightmare stories out there. So I'm not speaking from personal experience, I'm just speaking from what I've seen. But that's SIG, that's not this rifle in particular. I have had zero issues with this rifle, feeds great, other than the you know flyer, fifth shot flyers that are uh, non-stop with this. That being said, it's a pretty dope rifle. It has a purpose. If you'd use it for its purpose, I would 100% recommend it. If you don't plan on buying one of these and going to shoot a match or going to shoot a mile or even like take a long range precision class with it, in my opinion, I would call it like a 600 yard gun, 700 yard gun with the right ammo. But other than that, I got nothing else for you. Fan of it, don't love SIG, but other than that, that's all I got. If you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, drop a comment, spread the word, share, all that stuff. Check me out on Instagram. Check out my Patreon. Check out Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, again, like, share, subscribe, all that nonsense. And if you didn't like the video, eat a dick. I'll see you later. Peace.